Hello, Matt here. Today, we finally continue the work on my track build Mini R53. So far, we have partly stripped interior. We have some nice bucket seats. Suspension has been upgraded with Ibex springs, white line rear anti-roll bar, a nice OMP strut brace, and we have upgraded the brakes with bigger R56 front brake discs and calipers. Now it's time to finish phase two of suspension and brake build. We're starting with the upgrading to R56 aluminum rear trailing arms. Let's go. What you will need is, uh, well, complete trailing arm. If you can get it with mounts, it will be helpful. To use R53 shocks, you'll need two of these, which go in here. Now you can mount the shock. As for the calipers, they are newer design and since I have front calipers uh, also from R56 as I already mentioned, we will be using these too. For that we will need new lines. And also, and the jury is still out on that, we might need new handbrake cables. So let's start with the work. Okay, so the wheel is off. First things first, we also need to remove this little plastic bit. So then by this this and there is an 8mm nut over there. Also, I don't know if you can see it, but one Phillips head screw in here. There, all done. Now we have access to plugs for EBS sensor and pad wear sensor. Okay, so we should pull the wires out here and all from here. I also didn't have the handbrake cable, so that's off. Oh, yeah, and they are different. Uh, the old caliper has a round hole, while well, the new has it a bit squared off. Now we'll get the jack under here somewhere and undo the shock absorber. And after that, all we have to do is undo the arms, three bolts up here. Then only the caliper will be holding us back. And we undo this right here because as I said we are changing the calipers so it was an 18 for this also for the lower one and for the shock absorber 21 it's all now undone which means all I have to do now is undo the caliper but I also need to undo the anti roll bar linkage which is 16 I guess uh, you need a 16 wrench and Allen number five and last but not least actually not last yet uh, 11 and we undo the brake line here Someone put a zip tie in here where it shouldn't be. Watch out. So, as you can see, this is the difference. This is where the bolt for the shock absorber goes, and you can see it's conical here so that's why we needed those inserts so once you do it like this it should work perfectly fine also these are mirrored so this is the left side one I'm just showing you for comparison all right want to see something funny this is the new r56 uh, caliper in which the hose gets bolted in okay got it that's it this I don't know what the hell this is because this is an r53 caliper it should have a bench bolt here. This should be it. 
but this is some kind of a hybrid. It's a bit different. Anyways, if I knew that, if I checked that out, I didn't even have to change the lines, because in my case, these lines will work with these calipers. So yeah, interesting. Either way, if I was a better YouTuber, I would now show you the difference in weight. But I can't, because I don't have the scales. So yeah, all I can do is show you how they look. So as you can see, pressed and welded steel, aluminium. Ugh, can barely get this one up. You can get this one up a bit easier. Educated guess, I would say around two kilos difference. So I cannot tell you how much each of these weighs, but I can compare them. So let's see. We have the R56 uh, aluminium one on the right and the pressed steel R53 one on the left. So let's say one kilo. All right. So it's 3.8 kilos. Exactly 3.8 kilos lighter on each side. And it's an unsprung weight. That's a success. Uh, now, of course, I've uh, forgot to film the difference between these and the ones in the car. So yeah, sorry for that, but you can trust me, 2.4 kilos difference. Everything included, calipers, everything you see here. This one is 2.4 kilos heavier than the one that is now on the car. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Another nice benefit, which I didn't know about, seems like you can add a bit more of caster slash camber adjustment. No, actually, camber slash toe adjustment. So yeah, that's nice. All right, this one is in. Now, make sure to try and align these holes. You have a lot of play there. So for starters, try to get them where they were. As you can see, the bolts can align to the parts where the paint is damaged. So they are in the position where they were on the original car. Hopefully this will help with the alignment. We have these, we have these, everything is done. Uh, and you tighten them up the way it's written on the screen right about now. Okay, so now that this side is done, we need to button it all up, connect everything that needs to be connected. Uh, then we'll switch to the other side, we'll bleed the brakes. And then, if you're changing a big part of suspension like this, always do the alignment because the alignment even though as I said try out try and put it back the closest to the way it was still will be quite a bit out of whack so yeah but let's just put it all back together okay so one less key difference these are original mini m12 1.5 tread pitch yeah doesn't work looks like uh, r56 has m14 1.5 tread pitch. So there's that. Obviously, I should have changed the bearings. Then it would fit. I didn't. Now, here's the thing. M12. Thank God I have my 1 Series M14 bolts. So, yeah. Anyways, let's go on with this side.
All right, we are done. Uh, trailing arms are on. Everything is tightened up. Brakes are bled. Only thing we didn't do is toe adjustment. And I have a lot of toe in, to be honest. You cannot see that on camera, but I can see it here. We will set that back to zero. Fronts to zero. Around two degrees camber in the front. Whatever we got on the rear, it's done. Uh, this calipers all in. The difference, 2.4 kilos. So was it worth it? Well, for this car, every single kilo matters. We want to get it as light as possible, as I said. And more importantly, this is unsprung weight. So yeah, should handle a tiny bit better. Will I notice it? No, of course not. But I will know it's there. I will know it's lighter and I will know the car handles better. And if I didn't do that, I would have known that there is performance to be gained. So yeah, there's that. Get away. For today, we are done. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, give it a like, it means a lot. And yeah, why not subscribe to see where this car is going. In next episode, we should be building a custom exhaust for this one. So yeah, hope to see you then. Bye.